Hello guys, welcome back to another video for Persona 5 Strikers. I'm showing you in this one how to get to maximum stats for your Personas in about 20 minutes this will take. Yes, a few methods to do this already online, but they are the slower method. There is a faster way to do this because even though they're trying to be efficient and make sure you don't lose any bonus, they're not incorporating a very specific function in this game which allows you to transfer more bonuses yet even more than what they opt so what i do i try and break it all down for you and anything you need to know and then actually show you my actual cycle that i do i do that once or twice and um, then i'll leave it there guys the steps for this if you don't if you can't quite keep up with what i'm saying or you just like everything listed in like a text form i'll write down the steps i'm doing in the description as well so you can find it all in there but get started guys, I'll just tell you two very important fundamental things you need to keep in mind when doing this. So this is actually part of the tutorial, that's why I don't know why a lot of guides miss this. Well, all the guides out there. So if you come into Fusion Tips Part 1, I'll come into the second page and it'll tell you here. When you're fusion, fusing, the more fusions that Persona has been through, the higher the chance for the stat bonuses. What that means, that means the more chance of you carrying all the stat bonuses across rather than sort of 30% or so that the game normally does. And what this means is you need to keep the key persona. So when you're sort of fusing Pixie and jack o lantern for example, to make, let's say Silky for an example, that will make Silky. Then you use Silky with Bicorn to make Jack Frost. That one that you're making, it's always a key persona. So Pixie and Jack Lantern into Silky will make Silky the key persona. Silky and Bicorn into Jack Frost will make Jack Frost the key persona, and so on and so forth. You always need to keep that key persona. You can register it, but never delete it. You always need to keep that key persona that's got all the stat bonuses applied to it. Because when you register a point, when you register a I almost said a prona then. <laughs> when you register a persona, when you pull that persona back out it will lose some of the stat bonuses by default. Yeah, whenever you pull one out of the registry, it all it automatically loses some of the bonuses. That's why you need to keep a persona, which has been going through all the fusions, and it's never been pulled out of the registry. You just need to keep that key one always going. If there's a specific persona you want, just fuse into that one with the key persona, and then when the key, key persona is that one, register it, and then fuse that key persona into a new one. And then when you fuse it into a new one, you can go back to the one previously which you registered and you can pull it out then because it's no longer the key, key persona. You can just pull it out and keep it then at max stats. You can keep that key persona always guys because that's very important for transferring stats. And one more very important fundamental, triad fusion. So this is the one that the other guys do not incorporate. So you can read here, persona born from a tri fusion are more likely to receive stat bonuses. So again, it's similar to what we just read, it means you'll carry more bonuses over. So if we keep the key persona always, that means you, you'll you carry across about 30% of the stat bonuses. But if you apply this one into it as well, you carry across about 60 or 70%, it's a lot better, so much quicker, and this is what we need to do. It doesn't mean every single part of this fusion, the cycle has to be a try, it just means you need one fusion in that cycle which is a tri fusion that seems to be okay okay so just on to how to if you ever need pp because you need persona points to obviously you up, to you'll be leveling up your character quite a lot you need persona points to do that if you ever need more you just come into here and all you need to do is buy a persona out it's not necessarily the highest level which sells for the most sometimes it depends how many stat bonuses they've had carried across to them and for example what persona was she used to fuse them I'm not entirely sure, but I just know that it's not directly linked to the level. So even though Niberius is right at the bottom, that doesn't necessarily mean she'll give me the most PP. It does in this case, we'll see in a minute. But if I take out Lamina, for example, so I'm just going to take out Lamina, guys, and then I'm going to sell her. She sold for 45,000, and she's 99. Let's see Lilith, it's actually level 90, she's lower. You may take it with you. She sells for 206, so she's 9 levels lower, but sells for more. That's because she was part of a max stat thing I was doing earlier on. And Niberus, wow. Yeah, if if you max, during your uh, max statistics cycle, if you get an accident, 
if you can try and fuse the accident back into the cycle, but register the accident when it first happened, register it and then fuse that back into the cycle. Personas born from accidents just sell for a lot. I mean, look at this one, Nibiris. He was my last accident. Is this okay? And if I take him out, you may take it with you. he sells for 1 million PP. Look at that, 1 million PP. I've had one that sold before for 1.5 million PP. Yeah, so if you ever get an accident, you might want to save him. But if you want to keep it quicker, if you want to keep us going quicker, each time we stop to level the personas, you'll see what you see what I mean in a minute. When we stop to level the personas, you might want to save your game afterwards. So if you do get an accident, you can just reload that save and start it again, rather than get an accident, because there are certain personas which can be difficult to get get them back down. If it if it's an accident with your shit scene, for example, it could be tricky to get him back down into Pixie or Hoopole, for example, which we use for our cycle. So it's up to you if you want to save. But yeah, PP, and what we need to do first, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you through a first cycle slow, and then do it a little bit quicker. So Jack-O-Lantern, Pixie, and Silky. These are three you want. I've already bought them. So Jack-O-Lantern, Pixie, and Silky. They want to be the default levels. So if they're not the default level, so if they're a little bit higher, they just go into executions and just fuse them again and then register them so they're back at their default levels. You see why that's useful in a minute. And what we're going to do, come into enhancement guys, and we're going to level them all to level 20. Do the statistics first to level 20 and then level them up to level 20. You don't want to level them up first because that will automatically level the statistics and that means we can put less points into them. The reason we need to keep it low level is because it costs less to level them up then. The lower the level, the less power points it will cost. How much power so look, this to go to level one is gonna cost 64 power points. But to level two costs more almost three times as much as that. So you see what I mean? It goes up more each level. So remember guys every stat to level 20. The power of your mask has yep so level 20 again. Like I said I do this once in slow time and I try and do it in quick time persona. afterwards. I hold triangle when I'm doing this by the way, it helps me go a little bit quicker. The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. Yeah, once you've done it a few times, you'll get into a rhythm and you should be able to go through it a little bit quicker. The power of your well, I'm going to be a bit slow as I'm talking to you and it's making me, tripping me up and I'll keep clicking on the wrong things. Right, so once you've got every statistic to level 20, now I'll level them up to level 20. There you go, that'll just give them a little bit more points. Okay. Right, and once you've done that with with one of them, do it with the other. You want to do it with all How three. Statistics first, remember. Yeah, I almost tripped the up then. Magic. Yeah, this takes me. It takes about 20 minutes to do it this way, guys. Most of uh, um, most of methods circulating on the net about this have it has to be taken about two hours. Uh, but yeah, this one takes about 20 minutes, pretty quick. And ideally, you want to be doing this at the end game. Yeah, at the end game, when you're sort of near level 99, and you've got a max compendium, and you've also got loads of money, and a bit of PP already to get started with. But really, you need a lot of money. If you've got a lot of yen, then you can just get PP from the registry by buying and deleting personas. Yeah, this is what I do at end game. If you do at end game, if you need money, Farming Metatron will give you a lot of money. It'll give you a lot of money, um, yeah, a lot of yen, a lot of bond XP, a lot of level XP, a load of items. Yeah, so he's probably end game. Metatron's probably the best way to get money, guys, if you need it quickly. I could farm Metatron in about 90 seconds. Got another video on that if you need it, actually. Right, last one, look. Right, and she's got level up, Silky. Right, so this is part of the cycle. What I'm telling you now, you'll be doing this every time. Right, and if you want to save your game, this is the point you do it. So after leveling them up, now you save your game if you want to. You just press options, system, you know how to save your game. But you don't have to back out, yep, just save it there. You don't have to back out to the RV, you just do it in the velvet room. Yeah, so if I have an accident, I could just load the safe up, or I can just go with the accident. Right, and then we make Hoopo. So Hulpo, level 13. Just carry on whatever, don't matter too much. Just want to get through this quick. Now, let us begin. So like I say, if you're quick guys, not making any mistakes, you're looking at about 20 minutes to do this. Look at that, that's one cycle. Look how uh, the bonuses that she's got, wow. Yes, that's Hulpo. And then you need to level her to level 20. How much power will you add? There you this go. 
Uh, sorry, 21. Yeah, level her up to 21, guys. Okay. Yeah, so once you got her to level 1, go back. Before and now you're going to... Amy no Yuzume, you see there? Hopo and Lamia. So Amy no Yuzume now. I'm just going to carry whatever, don't matter too much. And whatever you do, do not, okay. never register your personas, guys. Never register Pixie, Silky or jack o -Lantern. Never register them too. Because they're... We want to keep them as cheap as possible to buy. And you want to keep them low level so you can actually level them up the same amount each time. If you keep registering them, then you're not going to be able to level them up like we are doing. So Amy no Yuzume. Yep, okay. And then next it's back to Pixie again. So we're going to craft Pixie. Right, you could start the cycle again now. Go back to level them up. But we want to actually go to Silky. Because Pixie is actually cheaper to do than Silky. So we're actually going to go to Silky next. So you got, you got one, two, three, three fusions in it, in the cycle. Yeah, so that's Pixie. See that, just for one cycle, look how many um, stats I've got. And then over to Silky, guys. That's it, and this is the start of the cycle. There you go, and with Silky, because she's our key persona, she's going to get higher and higher stats. Yeah, her stats will get higher and higher, because she's our key persona. So, in that case, I'll show you in a minute. You but once you got back to Silky, come back into your registry and buy Jack o' Lantern okay? and Pixie back. You may take it with you. Yeah, let me take it with you. Okay? Yeah, take it with you, guys. You take it with you. Yeah, take it with you. Right, so when you bought Jack o' Lantern and Pixie back, we've already got Silky, remember? Silky is now the key persona, by the way. Never get rid of that key persona. Right, and what we're going to do now. So, I'm going to bring Jack Lantern up. So, same again. Bring them all up to level 20. And just leave Silky for a minute. I'll explain to you what we'll do with Silky in a second. Because he's a key persona. So, yeah. Bring him up to level 20. Just keep doing that. Yeah, so don't go higher. 20 is a good number. If you start going too high, guys, it'll cost too much. Cost way too much. Right, and level 20 now. There you go. Alright, that's Jack or Lantern done. We'll do Pixie okay. next. Yeah, so I'll just show you this one more time, guys, and then I'll leave it there. And I'll show you what it looks like once you've done. Looks very nice. You've seen a persona of Max 99 everything. Very, very nice to look at. Just seeing everything complete. It's like looking at a complete trophy list. Right, it's agility. And look. How much power will you add? I'll add a lot of power. Up to level 20. Lavenza. Right, and level her up. There we go. So Pixie and Jack Lantern, you can level them up every time exactly the same. It's only Silky which because with Silky, because she's that keeps only, you can see her stats are too high. Now if she's over 20, do not touch them. But if she's got any that are below 20, you can. So endurance, I'm gonna push it up to level 20. And you'll always be able to level her up. Yeah, so you can always level her counter persona level. There we go. So every time, once you start building this up a lot, you, you'll only be able to level up her uh, persona level. And then Jack o' Lantern and Pixie, it will always be their statistics to level 20 and then the level to level 20. There we go. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to save it, guys, just so. Um, if I do run into a mistake, I don't have to bloody try and work around it when I'm... When you guys watching, I'm trying to explain it all. So I'm just going to save, just be on the safe side. Yeah, so quickly save again. Right, so start again. So Hupo. Remember, I will put this in the description, guys, if you need it. So Hupo, do not register them when it asks. Quickly skip it with options. Look at that. Two cycles already. It's got one at 99. Back out, enhancer to level 21. There we go, level 21. Okay. Right, back into, and now we're going to do Amy no Yuzume. There we go, crafter. Quickly slot some crappy skills, which I don't need. Now, let us begin. And then it's on to Pixie again. 
Yeah, see how quick this is, guys. So quick. Yeah, so picks again, and then back to key, and then back to star. You'll find the higher the level of the personas, the quicker they get to 99. So, if for example, Amy Nozuma will get to 99 everything before Pixie. So it just means you've got to do it a little bit longer, and then it should make it so any persona you craft will always be 99 everything. Pixie, you see, she's not quite as high as Amy Nozuma, because her default level isn't as high. And then Silky, back to the start. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Just keep doing that. You'll probably have to, like I say, we've done two cycles there. You're probably looking at about five five or six and you've got 99 everything. So it doesn't take long at all. Especially when you get into like a nice little momentum routine going. Right, yeah. So again, back to the start guys. You'll be back to registry. Buy Jack O'Lantern. Buy Pixie. Come into Mask Fusion. Level them up to 20. And then a Persona level to 20. And then Silky to Persona level 20. And then back into Executions and do the Fusion again. And then back to start the loop. Just keep doing that way. I'll just, um, what I'll do, I'll just show you what it looks like when they're 99. I'm not going to bother in this case. I've Honestly, I've been doing this so much lately. I'm just going to actually show you. So, save your game. You don't always have to. If you do get accidents, if you actually incorporate them into the cycle somehow. The accident self alone. I mean, you saw... I've got an accident there, sells for 1 million. Sells for 1 million. And the accidents, they always level up to your character level, by the way. That's why they're 99. Okay, so let me load the safe game, guys, and I'll show you. It's my latest one, I believe. Yeah, this one, I think it is. Yeah, so I'll just show you what a max stat persona looks like. Very nice. Very nice to look at. Right, so where is he? Thor, come on. <laughs> Come and show off. Here he is. Look at him. 99 with his hammer. Look at that. That's very, very nice on the eye. Very easy to look at. Yeah, so that's what you'll that's the um, end game guys. 99 in everything. Pretty cool. Yeah, my man Thor, my lightning guy, because he's got a severe electric. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. How to Get max statistics in about 20 minutes. Remember, like I said, you want to try and make sure you end game so you've got plenty of money, you've got most your personas in your compendium uh, to fuse. And pretty much it, guys. Yeah, so I hope that helped. If you've got any questions, it can be a little bit confusing. Just ask me in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. And if you want to check out any of my other Persona 5 Striker stuff, look in the description and you'll find my playlist and everything will be in my playlist. So yeah, hope it helps, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.